get to Buffalo City, uh, where officials have told Fox whether they expect it to be snowing with a vengeance. It certainly mm -hmm. has delivered so far. Blockbuster, epic, historic. These are some of uh, the descriptions. What do you think so far as we bring in Fox weather winter storm specialist Tom Nizzle? Well, I'll tell you what, right now it's just about how the models have called it, how the forecasts have went. We expected this system to really ramp up last night and it did not disappoint. Snowfall rates of three inches or more an hour, lots of thunder snow with this lake effect snow band. And, and we're just maybe about halfway through it. It is gonna continue to pummel the areas from Buffalo just southward through the day today and into tonight. These warnings for the eastern end of Lake Erie and for the eastern end of Lake Ontario, both of these huge bodies of water are gonna continue to produce that snow. Take a look at the radar right now. All of the lakes are turned on because that cold air is moving across warm water. But the two lakes that are producing the heaviest snow now are the west to east oriented lakes, right down the prevailing wind, Erie and Ontario. That band off of Erie is very impressive, about 20 miles wide. On either side of the band, you've got partly sunny skies right now, but within the band itself, tremendous snowfall rates. The Lake Ontario band as well, from Watertown northward, causing real issues on the I-81 artery, that interstate that goes north of Watertown. Again, zooming in on the band here, take a look at that. There's very intense echoes uh, or thunder snow cells that are moving along that band like freight cars uh, on railroad track. And we have to geek out on this for a minute. This is our visible satellite imagery. And you can kind of see those little bumpy tops on those clouds down the lake. And the sun angle is at a relatively low angle right now. And it's actually causing shadowing on these clouds. What you're seeing are the thunderstorm tops, the cumulonimbus clouds that are popping out from the lower cloud deck. And that's what's producing the tremendous snowfall rates and the thunder snow as well. Now, as we take a look at the setup, when you have typically a really shallow uh, depth of cold air across an area, you get garden variety lake effect snow, weak updrafts, no charge separation. You may get a snowfall rate of a half inch an hour. But in this event, the cold air is so deep, it's allowing these clouds to grow to 15, 20,000 feet at times. That produces stronger updrafts. It causes charge separation within the thunderstorm cell itself, and that produces lightning. And of course, when the storms are that deep, much more snowfall. And take a look at the results of that. Nearly three feet of snow in Hamburg right now. Orchard Park, Eden, these are all members of the Two Flight Club, and you're gonna to continue to see the snow can, uh, throughout the rest of the day today. If we look at the future track on the radar here, as we go through the afternoon and evening and then into tomorrow, you will see how the band kind of wiggles across the area as the wind direction changes a bit. Then later tomorrow, the winds back or shift more to a west or a southwest direction taking the snow band right off the axis of the lake into nearby southern Ontario, Canada. Finally, Saturday night and Sunday, the wind shift one more time. The snow band comes through Buffalo and down into the southern tier. But total snowfall that still is to come will be in feet rather than inches. This is likely going to be a top 10 storm, certainly in Buffalo's history, and maybe as much as a top three storm for the month of November. Wow, that's impressive. It'll, it will be such a chart topper. Looking at some of the bands on the radar right now, it looks like out over Lake Erie, uh, just uh, sort of directly north of Palm Fret over the lake, there's some really intense bands. It looks like this afternoon we could see just as intense snowfall rates as we saw last night, Tom. Yeah, it's very likely to see that. And of course, what's really a challenge here for the forecasters and residents alike is where is that narrow band going to set up? Because as you can see on the radar right now, both to the north and south of Buffalo, people could be going about their daily routines where little snow has fallen. But as that band drifts north and south, you go from clear conditions into a complete whiteout in a matter of minutes. So it was a really good move to close all the schools in the area. And of course, parts of the big interstate, I-90, New York State Thruway, closed right now through the region. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.